Welcome to State Industrial Products One Solution How To Video. In this video, we will cover how to mount your dispenser, how to insert and change dilution tips, connect the tubes and hoses, install the bottle racks, replace bottles, and fill quart bottles and mop buckets. In order to mount the system, you will need the body of the unit and the mounting hardware provided in the box. Additionally, you will need a drill and a quarter inch drill bit, a screwdriver, a level, and a pencil. Remember to wear eye protection when drilling and gloves when handling chemicals. First, it is essential to pick a location for the dispenser near a slop sink and a water source and select a spot on your wall where you are certain you will not drill into anything such as pipes or wiring. Using the back plate of the One Solution as a template, mark your holes on the wall. Ensure your unit will be straight by using a level during this step. Now that your holes are marked, you are going to drill holes for the anchors in your hardware packet. Remember to wear eye protection when drilling holes. Anchors should fit snugly and might require a tap or two to get them into place. Next, screw the provided mounting screws into the top two anchors. We recommend using a screwdriver for precise adjustments. Now slide the back plate onto the top mounting screws and ensure your unit is still level. Screw in the third screw to hold your unit in place snugly against the wall. Now we are ready to install the bottle racks. When installing a One Solution dispenser, either single bottle racks or multi bottle racks can be used. We will be installing the multi bottle rack. You will need the bottle rack, the included mounting hardware packet, and safety goggles as well as a drill with a quarter inch drill bit, a screwdriver, and a level. Begin by lining up your bottle rack about two feet or more beneath your One Solution system. Confirm that your bottle rack is level and mark your holes. Using your quarter inch drill bit, drill the holes and insert the anchors, and using your screwdriver, attach your bottle rack using the provided screws. For confined or limited spaces, use single bottle racks. You are now ready to begin inserting dilution tips as well as hooking up hoses and tubes. We will now insert dilution tips into the One Solution system, then hook up dispensing hoses and chemical feed tubes. You will need the little bag of color coded dilution tips the small feed tubes, and the large dispensing hoses as well as a tube cutter. In order to ensure the correct dilution of your chemicals, it is important to use the proper colored dilution tip listed on the One Solution tip chart provided by State Industrial Products. Be sure to check whether the tip is for quart bottle fills or bucket fills. Insert the tip into the corresponding hose bar on the dispenser. Next, attach the feed tubes. Long tubes are attached to the center quart bottle dispenser barbs while short tubes go to the outside bucket fill barbs. Next, to keep the chemical feed tubes primed, install a check valve on each of the feed tubes. Make sure your valve is going in the right direction. Yellow end should always be pointed up. If using one product for both bottle and bucket fill, use the small plastic Y connector. Use the two tubes coming from the Y to connect the feed tubes to the base unit. One should go to the bucket fill barb and one should go to the bottle fill barb. Before you begin handling chemicals, it is imperative that you use the proper PPE. In this case, you'll be using gloves and safety goggles. First, measure out the length of tube to get from the bottle rack to the feed tube and cut them to length. Now, hook one end up to the check valve and the other end to the blue cap provided. Screw the blue cap onto the corresponding chemical. Repeat the step as necessary. Be sure to double check which solution goes to which tube. Next, attach the long dispensing hoses to the outside bucket fills and the short hose to the quart bottle fill. Finally, using the provided color-coded zip ties, gently tighten the corresponding color of the zip tie to chemical feed tube. Be sure to properly label your unit with the provided stickers so you always know what chemicals are being dispensed. For this step, you will need the provided Y connector and the water hose. Screw the Y connector hose onto the faucet of your slap sink. Then hook one end of the hose up to the Y connector and the other end to the side water port of the One Solution system. Now it's time to check and use the One Solution system. For bottle fills, you will need a properly labeled quart bottle. For bucket fills, any clean mop bucket will do. First, to fill a quart bottle, insert the short quart bottle fill hose into your quart bottle after selecting the desired chemical you would like to dispense with the selector knob. Press and hold the middle button to fill the spray bottle. Release the button when the bottle is three quarter full of diluted chemical. 
For a mop bucket fill, unhook either long bucket fill hose and set it into the bucket. Hold the button on the side corresponding to the hose used until you have filled your bucket to the desired amount. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more how-to videos.